So these are the triple beam balances and you're going to be using these to measure mass. Mass of different objects. Anytime we do a lab where we need to measure mass, we are usually going to use these. Now you can find them in these bottom two or three sort of shelves. Okay. Now there are some rules when transferring some of these uh, triple beam balances first thing is you can see at this point that it has all of the uh, weights all the way to the left near the plate you can see that all the weights are this way and near the plate what we need to do is move all the weights that way okay, all the way to the end what this ends up doing is balancing it while you move it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all those weights over to the right so anytime you're moving one of those triple beam balances, the first step is to make sure that you move all those weights over to the right away from the plate. Also, make sure that you never, ever, ever, ever move the triple beam balances from the top. Don't hold it from the top. Okay, You want to hold them from the bottom. So, so when you're transporting you need to make sure that you are holding the triple beam balance like this. One hand on one side of the base, the other hand on the other side of the base. Okay? You want to make sure that you're holding it like this. Do not hold it from the top. If you hold it from the top or I see you or the weights aren't on the right side, they're near the plate. If the weights are there or you're holding it from the top, you will either be dismissed from the lab or you'll be deducted points. Okay? Carry it like this. These are very old. We need to take care of our equipment so we can do labs. All right, so once we have our triple beam balance transported, uh, we need to do a few things. First, we need to move the weights back over to the zeros. There's one, there's two, there's three. That's why, they call them, uh, that's why we call it a triple beam balance because there's three different weights. Once we do that, we have to make sure that this line is lined up with the zero you can see that that's a little off. So there is a knob over here underneath the plate. We need to adjust that until this is lined up with the zero. So we're going to go ahead and twist a little bit. Now you don't want to twist a whole lot and you don't want to twist it a whole lot to the left because it can easily pop off so you have to be relatively gentle with it and have some finesse. So at this point it is just about perfect. We can see so to measure the mass of something, I'm going to start off with this dry erase marker. Okay. So we can see that the weights are all <coughs> at zeros. Okay. You can see all those. And the balance is zeroed at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully place this on the plate. Now you don't want to slam it. Okay. That defeats, uh, that could damage the system. Now once I put that on the plate, you'll notice here that it's no longer balanced at zero. So the first step is to start with the biggest weight. So I'm going to move the biggest weight that's in the middle right there with the hundreds. I'm going to move that over. Okay. Now you can see that immediately it went down below the zero. Once, one of, once you move the weight and it goes below the zero, you need to move it back one notch. So I'm going to move this one back to the zero and then it'll go back above the zero. Okay. Then we're going to move the 10 weight that's here in the back. So I'm going to move it over one and it still hasn't moved below the zero. I'm going to move it one more notch and at that point it goes below the zero. So then I need to move it back one notch. Okay. So right now we have a measurement of 10 grams Okay. and still not a zero. So after you move the big weight and then you move it back and then you move the 10 weight and then you move it back then you start with the little one. So we're gonna move this over and keep moving it over until this is zero. So I'm gonna keep moving this over okay. and it's almost zeroed so let's take let's see if we can get this here. Got a good camera angle
Uh, that's a little too much. That looks perfect. So what you end up doing is once you have it zeroed with the weights, okay, remember you start off with the biggest one, then you start off with the 10 gram weight, and then you go to the single gram weight, and then you just add them together. So the big one's at zero, so that's obviously zero, plus the middle one's at 10, so we have 10, plus, if you take a look here, that's about 7.6. So 10 plus 7.6 is 17.6 grams. You can see that this is it. these are all in grams. So this marker here weighs 17.6 grams. And that's basically how you use the triple beam balance. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, the important thing to remember is you start off with a zero balance, uh, a zeroed balance. You move the biggest weight first, then the second biggest weight, and then the last one for last. 